Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the books that you guys should be reading as a programmer, as a software developer, that are not the conventional books that a lot of you guys read. Now, I'm gonna talk about this from some personal experience, and then I'm gonna promote some of the books that I've actually written or that I have published. So when I first started out in my career as a software developer, I spent a lot of time reading technical books. In fact, I always had my head in a technical book and I was always learning some kind of technology. Unfortunately, I would say that 70, 80% of the books I read, I didn't actually do anything with and I forgot the technology. So it was sort of a waste of time. Now, it did help me in the sense that I did get a broad understanding of different programming languages and concepts and frameworks. And some of it was fun and some of them that I actually did exercises in, I retained more. But in reality, did I waste a lot of time? Yes, because the reality of the situation is that a lot of programmers are trying to build this sort of what I call Batman's tool belt. I used to talk about this all the time when I did a lot of Pluralsight courses because I recorded over 55 courses for the company before they canceled me or whatever. But uh, you know, I recorded a lot of courses and a lot of people would say all the time, hey, I watch all your courses on Pluralsight, I love it. And I would say, I appreciate the support, but why are you doing this? Don't watch all that. Cause I did a lot of courses on whole, all different technologies. And they would say, well, I just want to learn all these things. I like learning these things. And I would say, I get that. And that, that makes sense. But what's more important is to learn the specific thing, learn X so you can do Y. So what is the Y? What is your Y is what I would tell people all the time. And very few times would people actually have an answer. And so where I'm getting at with this is that there's nothing wrong with reading technical books, but they should be applicable to what you're doing right now or what you're going to do in the short term future. So if you're learning something, it is very important that you're actually doing it, especially when it comes down to technology. Now, there's another category of books where that doesn't apply, which we're going to be talking about in a minute here. But a lot of you guys need to stop reading so many technical books and start focusing on what I would call the soft skills. In fact, I wrote a book called Soft Skills, Software Developer's Life Manual. There's a second edition, there's an audio version. You can get that on Amazon. And one of the books that was just released, published through Simple Programmer is called The Battle Hardened Developer, written by a very good author, Fyodor, who wrote for a Simple Programmer blog and eventually wrote this book. This is a proof copy, <laughs> but the, we just did a launch on this. So you can find this book out there. This book talks all about basically productivity for developers and how to avoid social media distractions. If you're familiar with Cal Newport's deep work and a lot of the stuff that he talks about, this book is basically the software developer version. So if you like deep work, if you like Cal Newport, you're gonna love this book. Go check it out on Amazon. We'll put a link down in the description as well. Anyway, my point is, and you can look at all the books that are published by Simple Programmer. I focus on creating soft skills related books because I think that's very important. And so in my career, when I started reading these kinds Kind of books and started focusing on the technical books. I remember one of the first soft skills books I read was actually How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It completely changed not only my career, but my life. Because I think that a lot of times software developers, we tend to be the stereotype of nerdy, geeky, socially awkward. And it's because of the information that we're absorbing. I always talk about in my other company, Bulldog Mindset, which is behind me here. You can check out that YouTube channel if you want to as well. More about focus on masculinity and financial success. I always talk about how you are what you brine in. So your environment influences who you become. And so if you are in an environment like most developers, especially kind of the political environment today, where you're going to be exposed to just technical stuff, just nerdy, geeky stuff, which, believe me, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I love that stuff. You know what I mean? But if you're exposed to just that, it's going to shape who you are. And so you need to have a little bit more of a culture, a little bit more of an exposure to a bunch of different things and concepts besides just the technical programming part of things. So you need to understand some social skills. You need to learn some things about fitness and productivity. Like I said, this book will help you with the productivity part of that and the soft skills about managing a career. I have another book called The Complete Software Developer Career Guide. It was a Wall Street Journal bestseller. That book is all about managing your career as a developer, working with your coworkers, learning those important social skills that you need to have in order to be successful. Because if you're not well-rounded, you might be able to write really good code and that's fine and that's great and that's awesome. But 
you're not going to thrive. You're not going to really make it to that next level and really get the high paying jobs, get those team lead positions, get those architect positions, unless you can communicate the information that you know well, get along with people, understand how to navigate the politics of corporate life, because that is a reality, and really work on yourself, growing yourself, personal development. I know that a lot of guys in the software development space are very resistant to the idea of self-help. I was myself, especially woo-woo stuff. I didn't like that. But if I look at the things that affected me and helped me grow as a person and made me the most financially successful in my life, it is those things. So that's why I encourage you to not just read the technical books, even though they're great and you should be reading a technical book on the technology that you're learning or that you're going to be using, but you should be reading books like Battle Hardened Developer, Soft Skills, any of those kind of books. There's actually some good ones that I didn't publish. Pragmatic Programmer, Mythical Man Month, that kind of falls into that category. Peopleware, I think is one of them as well. And then the classic stuff, the stuff that's outside of the software development space completely, how to Win Friends and Influence People, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, Psycho Cybernetics by Dr. Maxwell Maltz, As a Man Thinketh by James Allen, another good one, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joel Dispenza. Those type of things are going to enhance your life a lot more than just reading the technical books. Believe me on this one. And one little hack that I have for you is that you can listen to the audio version of the book. That's what I do all the time. I go for runs all the time and I'll be listening to the audio versions on two, three X. Now with a technical book, obviously you're not gonna be able to do that. But with these non-technical books, hey, you can listen to the audio version and absorb that information. And the good thing about that is that this kind of information more universally applies. So you don't have to be specific. Whereas technology books, like I said, the benefit is when you're using that technology. But for these other books, the benefit is going to still be there whether you're working on that aspect of your life or not because you're going to absorb that information and it usually applies to life in general especially things on productivity on social interactions and that that kind of stuff so anyway i want to share that with you guys because you want to become a well-balanced person and i believe in a really holistic approach that's what kind of the basis of this channel and my business has been and it is something that if you neglect this area of your life Sure, you might be good technically, but you're going to limit your growth. And especially financially, the best way to become really financially successful is you need to learn not just how to make money as a software developer, but how to build a business, how to invest in real estate is what I recommend. And you're going to learn those things. I got another good book here, actually. Millionaire Real Estate Investor by Gary Keller. Really good book, classic real estate book. So expand your horizons, read some other books. And if you want book recommendations, leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with this.